Hello and welcome back to Improving Your Tinder Profile Part 2 where I've started to have a look at a number of your, the viewers, uh, Tinder profiles to find out how I can help you get better results and more matches and more dates. Now obviously you guys may know that I run a, an online dating coaching company called School of Tinder. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out, the link up in the link above or below um, to find out about this program. But what I'm doing is a while back, I sent out a message to a number of guys saying, hey, if you'd like some free feedback, I'll do it online for you. Please don't send me any more profiles. I have so many profiles guys that sent me in to, to look through that I'll never get through the ones I've already got. If you want some help, go ahead and check out that link and you can find out more. But for now, let's get stuck in and have a look at some of your profiles and see how we can improve them. This is really great, even if I'm not reviewing your profile specifically, because it's going to give you an, eye, an insight into how I think. Now, I haven't seen um, these profiles really at all. I've glanced at them very, very briefly. I haven't prepared anything because I want you to see how I think and process when I look at a profile exactly what I'm looking for to find out how to maximize the results from it. So let's get rolling. The very first profile that I'm going to have a look at is Jason. So Jason sent through his profile images. So look at image number one. Uh, first of all, this is a really, the image itself, the photo itself is really fantastic. He's wearing a suit, he's looking really sharp, it's really high quality. He's got a smirk on his face, uh, which is which is good. A, a full smile is okay too, but a smirk is fine. He's not scowling, he looks approachable and friendly, and I can see his eyes clearly. One thing you've got to be careful of, he's got the It's a Match logo there. Now, that's that can be a really cool idea because what you're trying to do is a pattern interrupt. It's like, oh, what does this say? This is different. This isn't just a photo. It's something else as well. The difficulty is you've got to be careful. I know I've talked about using the Just as Match, just a It's a Match logo in the past. You can't use it anymore because Tinder picks up on uses of its own logo and it'll actually remove that photo. So yeah, go, don't use that anymore. It used to be a good trick. You can still use a pattern interrupt, but don't use that as a pattern interrupt. Uh, photo number two. Okay, again, really good photo. Um, slightly lower in quality, but that's okay because it's really sharp. Again, clearly see the eyes. He's got a smile. See, he's got nice white teeth. These first two photos are showing you off really well. Uh, so, you know, thumbs up, top mark so far. High quality shots. They're looking kind of like modeling shots, which is almost what you need to get great results on Tinder. These super high quality shots are required because of the competition levels. Third photo, oh my God, another really high quality shot. <laughs> um, look, you're doing really well here on the photo. It's another suit shot, you're wearing sunnies. Sunnies are bad for a first shot, but they can actually be really good for a shot further in because sunnies can look very flattering. Um, don't use them as in the first shot. The reason being women want to see your eyes. It's really important for them. But as here, third in the row, you're looking really dappy, looking really sharp. Hair's well done, well dressed, perfect. Um, moving on, you've got uh, you with the with your. Uh, I think you're there. Maybe your workmates, but I can't say for sure. But either way, um, I like this, and I like this because it's showing you not taking yourself too seriously. Now, this is important if you've got a profile where you've got lots of like almost modeling shots. You need some shots which soften you up, which makes you make clear that you're not self-obsessed or just obsessed with looks or that you can be a little bit playful, a little bit silly. That can be really important in a profile. Now, you still have um, a suit on and stuff, which I'd rather something more casual, but this is good. This starts that step in, I can goof around and have fun. And I have friends. This is great social proof, this photo. So I really love it. The next one is, now I need to explain, this is actually an animated loop. And you're nodding and bowing to the deer, which are nodding and bowing back to you. Great little animated um, loop. I love it. Leave it in there. It's, it, it's again, it's a lifestyle shot. Showing you you're traveling somewhere, doing something interesting, something bizarre, having a cool life experience. And now sort of put herself next to you there thinking, this is a cool experience I'd like to be a part of. And you're acting with animals, which is, you're interacting with animals, which is kind of cute. Women will like that. Going on, oh, Jason, you keep hitting it out of the ballpark, but this is great. This is a lifestyle shot. You on a what looks like a yacht on the water. Um, yeah, it's 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 lovely. It's it's women can put herself next to you and think this is classly classy as all hell. I'd love to be sitting here next to him in this moment. So far, really impressed. Uh, okay, going on, we've got Jason's big three O. This isn't a bad photo, and again, you not taking yourself too seriously, but. We've already got one like it, so I think you could put something else in this place. What that would be, let me come back to that in a second. Let me just check out all your photos here. Um, then we've got your second last one, which is you 
at a beach topless with your scuba diving gear in your head. Topless shots, like like gratuitously topless shots like this, are really risky. I found so I, not now. <laughs> you can fully tell from the photos. I'm not well built anymore. But I used to be really well. I used to go to the gym about six days a week, and I used to be in great shape. You're in great shape here too. Um, but I found that when I put like totally like top naked shots on Tinder, I get some results, but not nearly as many as if I used what I call incidental showing off a of muscle. So I have a photo which I used that I show of me rock climbing, where you can see my arms are really well built, so obviously I'm in good shape. Um, that photo, using that photo got me far better results than using, using this totally top half naked shot. Now, some guys seem to get away with it. I couldn't, and it's not to do with body shape or anything. It's just to do with how you come across when you're doing that. So this is risky. I can't say it'll hurt you, but I've seen it hurt guys more than I've seen it more often than I've seen it help them. So just be aware if you, it'd be worth testing to see if you can get better results without it. And your last shot is another high quality shot. So this is a really standout feature of this profile, Jason, is that high quality shot after high quality shot after high quality shot, there's almost nothing that's of terrible quality. And that's awesome. That's really important. I mean, to, to me right now, what I know, what I can see of your profile, just the photos, you're kind of an eight and a half out of 10, nine out of 10 maybe. I mean, there's not a lot of ways that I can improve this photo. I'd be careful of the ab shot, the, the, the nude shot. The other thing I think you could include that, that would help, if you got a photo of you playing with a, a dog like that's playing with you or looking at you adoringly or something, that is that will take it to another step. That's the one kind of photo I feel like I'm missing here. But for the rest, you've got social proof. you got you being a little bit playful. Again, even more dorky, even more silly would be good because you kind of need to offset some of these, all these high quality shots of yourself. You know, it's, it's always a balance, funnily enough. Women are looking to discern not just how attractive he is, but what kind of guy is he, right? Now, you're not playing off the bad boy look. Since you're playing off the decent guy who's attractive look, what you need to do is make sure that you're not arrogant guy, right? Because again, it's, it's, you've got to play into the personality that ideally is you, but also that women are going to like. So that's a, that's a thing to consider. So scrolling down, let's have a look at what you've actually written in your profile here. Um, six foot, blue eyed, ENFJ male. Don't get me started on Myers-Briggs. I hate Myers-Briggs because it's based on pseudoscience uh, and totally not real and it bugs me. But anyway, you can put it up there. I know people do it, especially in other countries. Um, <clears throat> solar charged through hikes, Oz tag and adventures, professional coach in boxing and sales, passionate about superhero movies, car karaoke and inspiring the best versions of ourselves. Bonus extreme self-control, but a soft spot for hazelnut ice cream. So far conquered these countries. To do next, these countries. Join me for an adventure. Quink. Okay, so a couple of thoughts. One, this is, first of all, this is a big block of text. If you want people to read something, you may need to make it easy to read. And if you just separated this out and created some spacing, that'll make it easier on the eyes. That's number one. You need to, yeah, it needs to be an easy experience. i got to work to find what line I'm on and all this kind of stuff because the text is quite small, of course, on Tinder. That would help. Uh, second thing, um, I would like a little bit more playfulness in here. In fact, with such a good profile, um, you would really benefit from some self-deprecating humor, like make fun of yourself about something like bigger than what you have with the chocolate ice cream. That will help you because, again, we need to soften that. Super high quality photos needs softer, self-deprecating stuff to demonstrate you don't just take yourself seriously. Um, one last thing to think about is um, this wink. Join me for an adventure wink. Now, that can be a red flag for women. So women have an experience on Tinder, which is guys don't even want to get to know me. They just want to shag me. Even women who are open to, to, to having sex with guys, they're just traumatized by guys not even making an effort, right? And it's an interesting thing that you know, you if you, even if you were look, going to a bar to try to pick up, right, for one night stands, you wouldn't walk up to a woman and say, hey, you're hot, want to go home with me? I mean, you could, but you're unlikely to use that as an opener, even if you're going to go home with her that night. And so it's the same thing with Tinder and Tinder profiles. You can't put anything that suggests that you're, um, that, that might be what you're going to do, because these little things can actually, funnily enough, to matter to women. Um, so say, join me for an adventure, wink. That wink... Oddly, get rid of it. Um, it can only be a red flag. It can't benefit you. And since, you know, I work with enough women to know women can sort of see these things and hmm, maybe not. It, like if they're, on, if they're on the edge already, not sure whether they should swipe right or not, there's, there's no reason to add anything in there because it doesn't gain you anything by having it there. You might as well get rid of it. So let's have a look. What have you got in your discovery? 
Okay, you've got a, a, a search radius that is way too big. 100 kilometers is really going to hurt your ranking. You need to narrow that down, bud, to like 20 kilometers or less. Ideally less, depending on how far away from a city you live. But yeah, having a big search radius is just going to show you lots of women who are never going to see you. It's, it's not the good way to go, so shrink that right down. Um, age range, 24 to 33. For a guy, how old do you get? 30? Yeah, that's about perfect. Stick with that for now. That's a perfectly fine age range. So that's your that's your profile. Overall, I'm surprised. I'd be surprised if you weren't already getting good results. You should be getting decent results. You want to know how to get better? I kind of outlined that for you. But for everyone watching, did you see the quality of those photos? That's the kind of quality you want to have consistently through your Tinder profile. I don't know. You maybe don't have that yet, but that's what you you really want to have to start getting really you know high number of results on that profile. So this is a really good one for you to see first. Next up, uh, we have Jack. Okay, Jack, so let's have a look at your profiles, bud, your profile shots. Number one. All right. So, so a big jump for moving away from um, Jason now. So what I see is I see you a number of things. One, it's a selfie. Never a good idea. Number two, it's your first photo and it's too dark. Number three, you're wearing sunglasses so she can't see your eyes. Number four, you don't look very happy or approachable. Um... Right, so you gotta, I gotta ask, why if a woman, and this is the first photo she sees of you, and this isn't making fun of you, but it's a question you've always gotta ask, why would she wanna talk to this guy? Right, what, what, what does she think is gonna be in it for her? Right, not looking happy, can't see his eyes clearly, you know, poor quality selfie shot in a car. So, again, this is a really, this, this will hurt immensely your chances of getting right swipes. Um, the first photo is always the most important by far, so that, that's a big one to consider. Uh, your second photo is a cute photo of a dog. Cool. Um, I'm all a fan of dog photos. I wouldn't put it as number two, though. Um, the first two photos really need to be good photos of you. But that's cool. I mean, a dog photo like that. It's a very cute dog. Lovely. Number three. Um, okay, great. So again, you um, can't see your eyes. It's a better shot, but again, a selfie of you in a car, never good. Selfies are almost always bad for guys, uh, so avoid them. Selfie of you in a car, can't see your eyes still, so think about how hard a woman has to work to work out what you really look like. <laughs> right? She had no clue what you really look like yet. She's been through three photos. Most women aren't going to bother keeping on hunting, right? So this is a big one. But the other thing, too, is your skin is very shiny in this shot, and so it's unnecessary, right? You've got all the photos in the world that you could take why use this? So it's not an unflattering shot of you either. It looks like you're an attractive guy here, but for these reasons, this is not the shot to be using here. Um, and you know, it's a selfie. Number four. Uh, right. <laughs> Another photo of your dog with a mane. It's kind of cute. The dog looks like a lion. Ha ha. Lovely. It is a second shot of your dog. Unnecessary. I, I'm seeing a lot of dog photo here. Um, so yeah, this profile's for you, not your dog. I wouldn't be doing that. Um, just pick one and go with it. Uh, third shot. <clears throat> okay, so you're wearing a suit, which is great. Uh, I'm not sure about the shoes you're wearing with the suit, but for the rest, that okay, I, I can buy into this. You're looking really sharp. You've got sunnies on again. She still can't see your eyes and what your eyes look like. This is a real problem. Uh, but this is a nicer shot. I mean, if you zoomed in on this and made this your main photo, you'd still get better results by far than what you've got now. Although, really, I'd love you to lose those glasses, those sunnies, mate. Moving on. Ah, I can see your eyes. Look at that. But you look bored. You look unimpressed. It's a selfie again. Um, why would you want to talk to this guy? So again, it's this is not marketing you well. It's it's. I can see you're not a bad looking guy at all. But but nothing here is really showing that off for me. You are so badly selling yourself short. Going on, another photo of a dog. So that's your third, if I'm not mistaken. This is the money shot. What I wish is that it was zoomed out so I could see your face in it at the same time. You with the dog is always better than the dog alone. Um, and this is probably the cutest because it's a little puppy and puppies win over teenage dogs, so to speak. Um, so, yeah, um, this would be my pick of the ones I've seen so far. But don't have three dog photos. Again, this is the profile about you, not your pets. Oh, gosh, another animal. All right, so your next photo is an animal. <laughs> it's a snake this time. Um... Look, you could have one photo of the dog, one photo of the snake, maybe. Um, reptiles don't tend to be endearing for women. They're not really endearing for most people, so it's it's not overly necessary. Again, I'd rather be seeing more photos of you in varied environments. But if you've got a full complement of nine photos, maybe have the snake as well to demonstrate you like, you have, you know, 
keen interest in different types of animals, but like you got four animal shots here, man. That's way too many for a profile that's about you. Uh, and lastly, <laughs> dog's in it again, but at least you're in it this time. Uh, wearing sunnies in a suit again. So this is actually better than the one I saw before with, I don't know who that lady was next to you. Um, but yeah, this is a better one again, just because you're smiling, right? It's the first time I've actually seen a smile on your face where you look happy. And that is so rare, and that's your last photo in the whole thing. If you crop this in and made it your main photo, again, I'd rather it without sunnies, but even then, this would be so much, your performance would be so much better. So yeah, look, from these photos, there's a lot that you, you need to change, especially the order for starters, but then, yeah, getting some photos of you looking happy and you without sunnies, they're going to be critical and high quality ones at that you want to have in there and not selfies and no more photos of your dog. So that's my thinking with your profile here. Let's have a look at what you've written. Um, pilot and training, six foot, if it matters. It always matters. Don't say if it matters. <laughs> no need to. It, it matters. If you're, by the way, if you're over six foot, six foot or over, always mention it if your profile. If you're under six foot, you're a short ass like me, I'm 5'8", uh, don't put it in there, it's unnecessary, you can tell them later, or they can find out. Unless they ask, then be honest, but don't put it in your profile. Um, going back here, dog is a year old and does not have a mane. Snake is not venomous, obviously. Snapchat, I added everyone back. 70s and 80s music is the best. Uh, okay, so... You can certainly have worse profiles, but... This isn't telling me much about you, and it's not demonstrating, like, I, I know you're saying the dog doesn't have a mane. Um, so that's a little bit of humor. I would like to have a little, I'd rather have six foot pilot and training as your very first line, right? And then you can say, um, don't bother about the dog's age, give its name, right? The dog is Barney, and he's, he's one of my best friends, right? Um, he likes to think he's a big mean tiger, but really he's, he's a giant wuss and, and, and cowers when it thunders outdoors. I love blah 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 blah. Especially 70s and 80s music. Or I'm especially gay for 70s and 80s music. Bam. That's it. I mean, that's injecting, right, it's endearing about the dog, it's, it's bringing in a little bit more playfulness and humour, um, and telling a little bit about yourself, but in a way that's it's going to sell you better, right? Because it's showing some personality. Just listing facts. Nobody cares about the facts about you, really. What they want to know is who, what you're like, right? And so it's how you write that out that really, really matters. So that's what I do with, with your profile right up there, man. So there is a lot you could do, Jack. Um, definitely to get better results here than you are right now. Um, so yeah, hopefully hopefully this has given you some sort of insight into what you could do. And those watching again, hopefully this gives you some sort of insight into what you could do with your profiles as well. Now, lastly, we're going to have a look at Dandy. <laughs> Dan. So I, I say Dandy because that's what it says on his email. I'm guessing his name is Dan and Dandy's the email, the, the name you put there. But I don't know. I'll call you Dan for now on, man. So Dan's first shot. I'm going to guess that this, he hasn't mentioned it. But I'm going to guess that this is an animated GIF, an animated loop, and he's doing a little bit of a silly jig. I like it because it's cool and it demonstrates personality, and I just love people who have great personality. Tinder is not that place. A Tinder, demonstrating personality is good, but Tinder is first and foremost a looks app. So having that as your first thing is unlikely, and like some women it'll tickle pink, but not many. And so I wouldn't have that as your first is your first one. If this is a good, funny little gif, leave it in there maybe, but not number one. Number one has to be you looking classy as hell, um, looking sharp, looking as attractive as you can. Then we can go on to the demonstrating personality stuff. So image number two. All right, so this is a high quality photo, looks artistic, but I, I don't think this is you looking your best. Um, your clothing isn't very good it's not like great clothing it's not fitted it's not anything it's just clothing it's not terrible it's not you know you got your baseball cap on backwards uh, you look you're not looking as great as you could you know you're not smiling i can see your eyes just a little bit but so while it's a high quality shot this isn't you at your most attractive and i'm missing that still so a woman has to have gone has to be interested enough to try to look through more photos of you to find something where you're looking really great right so so keep that in mind but you know thumbs up to the high quality photo too few guys have no high quality photos at all so that's a good start your next photo i love this this is an a plus photo this if you're gonna have a photo of you with an animal especially a dog this is it 
the dog looking at you adoringly, right, as you put your arm around it. Like, your dog, your animal, he loves you. There's a great connection between the two of you. That is perfect. That's exactly what you want an animal shot to do. Don't change it. Don't they like? Don't do anything with this photo. Leave it exactly how it is. This is one you definitely need in the in the, in the profile. Right, going on. Uh, right, so you're on the skateboard. You're having fun. You're doing something goofy. I'm seeing. I, I feel like I'm seeing part of your personality here, Dan. You're a goofy, fun guy. You like getting out there and doing like interesting, silly things and making light of life. I love it. I think this is great, and I think it's great to demonstrate some of this in your profile. Again, Tinder's not the right place if that's the only thing you want to demonstrate. You've got to demonstrate the looks as well, or Tinder's the wrong place. Like, you've got to, you know, be attractive in some of these photos. So, um, I like this shot. You could leave this in here, because I think this is fun as hell to have in here, but you, you need something before it to go along with it. So, I like the photo by itself, but it's got to be with other things. Uh, going on, uh, I'm guessing this is something to do with your acting or going to a dress-up or something. It could be okay. Um, see, this is the thing, if you had already, if I'd seen other shots of you where you were looking really sharp, like, like my initial ones, um, that I showed of Jason, that'd be really cool because then we'd see some goofy stuff. We'd see some dress up stuff. That'd be really nice to show a fuller personality, but without it, I'm still missing what I want to see in your profile. Next photo, uh, <laughs> another goofy shot. I'm seeing a pattern here, dad. Uh, yeah. It looks good. I mean, it's fun, it's goofy and stuff. But again, for Tinder, I still haven't seen attractive, right? Goofy doesn't get you all the marks. A little bit of Goofy with some really, some really, like, great shots is a good mix. But all Goofy, all fun. Tinder's not the place for you, man. Uh, if I look at your last photo, it says the force was strong with this one. It's a Jedi photo. Um, which, I guess, tells me about your personality rather than anything about how you look. And that's not a bad thing. I'm just, just musing on that. That was your last photo. So, here's the thing, Dan. You may not be someone who wants to go through the effort of getting really high quality, like, good looking shots of himself. If that's who you are, and that's fine, because it seems like you've got a really great personality. Like, Dan, you seem like a guy who'd be fun to hang out with, right? You seem like a guy who, lots of women, especially, I'm guessing you're a bit of a nerd, a bit of a geek. That's a good thing. Totally rating it. I know some really hot women who are into, like, geeky, nerdy guys who, like, so long as they're also strong and like not overly nice and not pushovers, but women are gonna really love guys like that, guys like you. Tinder is not the place for that. So you, you're gonna need to present yourself differently and if that differently is feels like it's too far a stretch from who you are, then Tinder's the wrong app to be focusing on. Um, you could do well on Tinder if you start to get some high quality shots where you're looking more attractive as well. It's more about how you look than your personality coming out in the photos. You could, you could still get some decent results on Tinder if you want to. But you're gonna to have to do that. Tinder Bumble, they tend to be much more looks conscious. So that's gotta be, you gotta get that tick in that box first or you're never gonna get the matches. I, I know I, now I sound like a bit of a broken record, but I'm seeing this ongoing as a theme. It's something for you to consider. There might be better places to meet women than, yeah, Tinder. Um, better apps to go out there and, and hunt and check out. Uh, but going on, let's have a look at your maximum distance. 40 miles is really way too many. Um, 15 miles max. Uh, if that, um, really 15 miles should be a maximum. And if you live really far from a city, again, Tinder's not your friend. <laughs> uh, Tinder, you need a critical mass living close to you for Tinder to really work. So you've got to reduce that distance down. Age range, 19 to 32. How old are you? 27. I would, right until you've got a really high performing photo, I'd raise the age of the bottom age to about 22. That will actually help you with your um, your ranking because women under 22 are even more looks conscious on the whole than the women over 32 for starters, right? So you're getting, and then because you're older, you're 27, a girl who's 19 is going to date a 27 year old generally doesn't want the goofy playful guy, right? It's, it tends to be more about the mature, like kind of older, interesting guy thing that you've got going on. You're not demonstrating that at all. So if you raise that age, that bottom age range, interestingly, you'd get a much better ranking because you'd cut off the bottom girls who are going to be, you know, you know, the most superficial of all. Uh, not all of them, of course, that wouldn't be fair, but most of them, on average, they're more superficial than their older counterparts. <laughs> and their older counterparts can already be pretty superficial on Tinder, so you can imagine. So that's, that's a way that you could actually kind of help yourself there. Now, with what you've written in your profile, you wrote, I'm an aspiring entertainer who enjoys helping other people improve themselves. I like nerding out, learning the quirks of your smile, and occasionally dress the part of the goth inside of me. 
I recently d achieved inner peace and I'm ready to grow relationships with others. Now that I love myself, uh, with others now that I love myself, open to anything, really. Just want to vibe and let everything flow naturally versus seeking out a specific kind of relationship. This is a very genuine profile description. Um, I like it because it's genuine and I feel like I get to know you in it. Again, it kind of doesn't vibe that well with Tinder because Tinder is more superficial. Like, say something punchy, say something playful, get to that point quickly, get the match, and then we'll get to know each other. This this profile write-up belongs on apps that are more relationship-focused. In fact, all your photos, everything about you belongs on a site that's more relationship-focused. So if you're looking for a relationship, you personally, I wouldn't be focusing on Tinder, right? So all these things suggest Tinder's actually the wrong place for your personality. So that's something that I would consider here, Dan. You can get the results. You're going to need to make some of those changes, like, you know, like you've seen me talk about in my other videos, too, in order to get results on Tinder that you're looking for. Now, that was my last profile that I'm going to review. I mentioned earlier that it is really important to have great photos. And it's really important to get everything right in your Tinder profile to get good results. The good news is that what works on Tinder, like the same strategies work pretty much on every dating app out there and, and, and every online dating software. There's little bits of things that you change, like some software is more relationship focused, some is better for older guys, some is better for younger guys, but the same basic rules apply everywhere. Now, if you want to learn how to get better with your online dating, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have the School of Tinder online. It's a complete online program where I'm going to show you how to pick the perfect photos, how to take the perfect photos, how to uh, arrange the photos, how to write a, a profile description that's going to get swipes. And once you get swipes and matches, how you can go about turning those matches into dates and turning those dates into something more. I, I'm going to show you how to do that every step of the way. Uh, I re highly recommend checking that out. Not only that though, but we also have a Facebook group for guys who are doing the course where you can actually get me to give, not just me, but other guys who have done really well into to give you feedback on your photos. It's a private Facebook group for paid School of Tinder members only. You can go ahead and ask any questions you got with your Tinder or your conversations on Tinder or your dates from Tinder and get professional feedback. And it's all for the one prize. You go ahead and check that out. It's on special right now. Uh, put the link up here and down in the comments below as well. So don't miss out on that. Um, now, what have you thought about these profiles? There's something else you'd like to add to any of these profiles that you think would be interesting. Let me know for sure in the comments. Um, and as always, of course, so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And of course, click the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any one of the future videos that come out. I'm Damien Deeker. Have a fantastic week. Have great luck with your Tinder this week. And I'll see you in my next video.